en couture. Face B, c'est tête. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. On... The court is now in session. Je déclare le temps souverain. Aujourd'hui, la Chambre entendra la présentation des documents clés relativement and, uh, à la nature de ce conflit armé. Cette présentation sur les documents Today, clés durera deux jours. Aujourd'hui, la parole est passée au co-procureur et à l'équipe de défense de Kyosampan. Les réponses vont être tenues. Next week, that is on the 7th of November, 2016. Mr. Amherst reports the attendance of the parties and other individuals to today's proceedings. Le 7 novembre 2016. Madame la Préfète, je vais faire état de la présence des parties et autres personnes dans l'audience de ce soir. La Préfète, Monsieur le Président, pour l'audience d'aujourd'hui, toutes les parties au procès sont présentes. National Lead Co Lawyer is absent for the morning session for personal reasons. Co Avocat principal pour le parti civil est absent pour des raisons personnelles et ce pour la séance de la matinée. Maître Cooper, for Nunchi is absent without any reason provided. Est absent et n'a pas fourni de raison. Monsieur Nunchi est présent dans la cellule de détention du sous-sol. Il a renoncé à son droit d'être physiquement présent dans le prétoire. Le document de renonciation a été remis au greffier. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Le Président, merci, M. M. Hoy. Le Chambre n'a pas été sur la requête de Nunchia. Merci, M. M. Hoy. La Chambre a été assurée sur la requête de Nunchia. La Chambre est saisie d'un document de renonciation de Nunchia en date du 3 novembre 2016. Il invoque des mots de dos, des mots de tête. Or concentrate for long in order to effectively participate in future hearings. He requests to waive his rights to be present at the third November 2016 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Nunchi by the judge and the rapport du médecin traitant de Nunchi, dated 3 November 2016. November 2016. Which notes that today Nunchi has a constant lower back pain and feels dizzy when he sits for long. And the commands that the chamber so grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Nous recommandons à la chambre de permettre à Nunchi de suivre les débats depuis la cellule temporaire du sous-sol. Par ces motifs et en application de la règle 41.5 du règlement intérieur, la chambre fait droit à la requête de Nunchi qui pourra suivre les débats à distance depuis la cellule temporaire du sous-sol par the chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to begin the proceedings to the room downstairs so that the chamber can follow that applies for the whole day. Thank you, Mr. President. 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 Thank you, Mr. President
s'il ne souhaite présenter des documents. Et ce avant le début de l'audience, au plus tard, le 1er novembre 2016, les coprocureurs et le conseil de la défense de Kusampan ont fourni les codes de documents et les URL ne pertinent. Conformément au calendrier, the floor will be given la parole the sera d'abord passée au coprocureur, co counsel for Q Sampon. Chaque partie aura deux séances pour présenter And les documents the chamber, clés. Uh, Advise uh, the parties to adhere to our memo dated 28 January 2016, document E315/2, as well as our oral ruling, du 28 janvier 2016, ainsi que decisions de se conformer à nos décisions orales et autres décisions well pertinentes à ce document, ainsi que le document E3. 115, Je vais à présent passer la parole au procureur pour présenter leurs documents clés. Merci, M. le Président. Bonjour, honorable juge. Bonjour à toutes les parties. Je commencerai ce matin presentation of key documents related to the armed conflict. Par la présentation de documents clés relatifs. I want to start with two um, rather competing or different statements that were issued by the Democratic Kampuchea government and the Vietnamese government on the 31st of December 1977, uh, addressing the reasons and the history of the conflict et l'historique du conflit entre les deux pays. Comme vous le verrez, il y a des différences spectaculaires entre ces deux déclarations. Tout d'abord, il y a la déclaration du gouvernement de Cadet en date du 31 décembre 1977 entitled Statement of DK Government to the Kampuchea Revolutionary Army in Kampuchea People, which is document E3-1393, E3-1393, and in paragraph 1, reads as follows, quote, Since September 1977, the armed forces of SRV, referring to the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, including many infantry units from Hanoi, hundreds of tanks, hundreds of artilleries and intervening aircraft, have launched consecutive large-scale assaults on democratic Kampuchea in order to pillage our rice in the east zone, trapping Plong, Stone, Krek, and Memo. In November 1977, the armed forces of SRV launched an assault in Spiring province and penetrated tens of kilometers into Romdol, Prasot, Kampong Ro, and Chantria districts. Again, in December 1977, Vietnamese armed forces launched other massive attacks in Koan Det, and Kiravon districts of Tikau province and in Kampong Trak of Kampot province. Meanwhile, the invading armed forces of SRV continued shelling and shooting in other provinces of DK territory, such as Ratanakiri, Mondulkiri, Krachi, Preveng, Kandal, and areas along the camp. Cambodia-Vietnam border. Adjacent, adjacent de la frontière, Paragraph 3 of the statement. Quote, Cambodia has so far tolerated Vietnamese activities and has tried to forge good relations with it as a good neighbor and real friend. Vietnam employs tricks and commits crimes, like appointing a small group of Cambodian traders to establish a new party to be its tool with the intent to destroy the CPK. 
qui sera un instrument destiné à détruire le PCK. Immédiatement après le 17 avril 1975, les forces armées vietnamiennes ont clandestinement invadé l'île de Kauai du Cambodge. Et en même temps, They reaped trouble and fought for Cambodian land from 10 centimeters to tens of kilometers following their invasion. Paragraph 5 of the Despite the above-mentioned criminal acts, Democratic Kampuchea has always had the stance of making friends with Vietnam and tried to solve problems peacefully. In May 1976, with the persistent purpose of solving the border problem between Cambodia and Vietnam, the DK government invited the Vietnamese side to come to Phnom Penh for negotiations. The Vietnamese came to Democratic Kampuchea with unfriendly behavior and was not willing to solve the border problem. In June 1977, Vietnam was still invading the Kampuchean border while it was pretending to request discussions with Kampuchea about the border issues. And the last reference from this document, paragraph 7, with approval from the Standing Committee of Kampuchean People's Representative Assembly in a special meeting on 25 December 1977, chaired by Comrade Nguyen Chea, the DK government has decided to release this communication to friends of DK and the world to manifest the invasion of the army of the SRV on the territory of Democratic Kampuchea. The Vietnamese government, Your Honours, responded to this, this the very same day. The Vietnamese government responded uh, the same day, 31 December 1977, uh, with their own statement uh, regarding the Vietnam-Cambodia border issue. This is document E3-267, E3-267, uh, English, ERN, uh, S, 00008731 through 33. Uh, Khmer S00847594. through 601. And French S00858. S0085640 through 49. This is what the Vietnamese government said in its statement. Quote, as early as the beginning of May 1975, Cambodia employed its armed forces in attacks on Phu Quoc and Po Chu Islands during which more than 500 civilians were carried off and in incursions into Vietnam's territory at different places from Ha Tien to Tai Ninh. In December 1975, Cambodian armed forces again attacked and occupied Vietnamese territory in the provinces of dans les provinces de Jialai, Kontum et Darlak. Most serious has been the period since April 1977, when Cambodia fielded, fielded a great force made up of many divisions. Cambodian armed forces have repeatedly shelled many populous areas and new economic zones, including areas far behind the border, such as Chao Doc Town and the townships of Ha Tien and Tin Bien. These attacks were combined attacks, with looting and the burning and sacking of pagodas, schools, and hospitals. De même que de de pagodes, et At many places, 
Cambodian de nombreux endroits, les troupes cambodgiennes ont perpétré crimes. des crimes totalement inhumains. Continuing in a few paragraphs. Quelques paragraphes plus loin, At the il same dit, time, au même moment, the Communist Party of Vietnam le and the government Communist of the SRV have persistently undertaken to hold negotiations with the CPK and the government, the government of Democratic Cambodia with the aim of quickly settling the border de régler rapidement la question frontalière entre les deux pays. Early in April 1976, le comité central du PCK agreed that leadership of the two parties would meet in June 1976 to prepare for this meeting Early in May 1976, the two sides held a preparatory meeting in Phnom Penh. This meeting was underway when it had to be postponed at Cambodia's request. Afterwards, Vietnam several times proposed a resumption of the meeting, but Cambodia did not respond. And the last quote, um, a few paragraphs later. Dernière citation, quelques paragraphes plus loin. In their letter of reply dated 18 June Dans leur réponse, 1977, du 18 juin 1977, the central committee of the CPK and the government du of Cambodia du Cambodge, considered that such meetings were necessary, tout en but que proposed that they be resumed only after a period of time until the situation returns to normal without further border conflicts. However, it was precisely at this time that Cambodia increased its military attacks, its encroachment upon Vietnamese territory, and its massacre of Vietnamese civilians, sabotaging the peaceful labor of the Vietnamese people de la population in vietnamienne, des provinces frontalières, Jing, en particulier Kinjing, Anjing, Dong Tap, Dong Tap Long An, An et Tainin. Et Tainin. End of quote. Fin de citation. So we have two dramatically different statements of what took place here. Uh, and what I'm passé. going to try to do this morning ce que je vais de faire uh, ce matin, is to go through the documents de parcourir les documents uh, uh, on these events. Uh, to see what the do documents reflect took place Pour between these two countries ce qui passé uh, between entre April 1975 pays, entre avril and January 1979. Et janvier 1979. And I'm going to start um, with events immediately following uh, 17 April 1975 when the Khmer Rouge took power uh, and uh, uh, a conflict emerged in islands uh, in the Gulf of Thailand. Ont éclaté dans les îles du Golfe and let me de start Thailand. by reading uh, for you uh, from Nain Chanda's book, Brother Enemy. Uh, this is at E3, uh, 2376. E3, 2376. Uh, English 001921197 through 98. Khmer 00191318. French 00236922. Uh, this is what Nayan Chanda uh, had found in his research and wrote about this what took place uh, at this time. Quote To revive an old claim to Phukok Island called Kotral in Khmer. The Khmer Rouge launched a seaborne ground assault on the island on the 4th of May, 1975. Six days later, Khmer troops landed on Pulu Pan Panjang, Island, which is Rouge. called Tho Chu in Vietnamese, en uh, and in Khmer also called Ko Krachak Se. Ko Krachak Se. 
So Khmer troops landed there on what would be the 10th of May 1975 and evacuated at gunpoint 500 Vietnamese inhabitants who were never heard of again. Nguyen Van Thot, a South Vietnamese soldier who was in Rashgia at the time of the attack, lost his entire family of 12. When he returned to Pulo Panjang four months later, his home was in ruins and the island littered with skulls. Two weeks after the Khmer Rouge landing, the Vietnamese launched a counterattack, killing many Khmer soldiers and taking about 300 prisoners. And uh, Chanda continues uh, Chanda on the following uh, pages, sur les pages suivantes. on the next page. When, on 2 June 1975, 1975, Vietnamese Politburo member Nguyen Van Lin drove to Phnom Penh to discuss the problem, Pol Pot pleaded guilty. Pol Pot In a great show of sincere regret, he admitted to Lin that encroachments had taken place, but the painful bloody, cla but the painful bloody clashes, he said, were due to soldiers' ignorance of local geography. The Vietnamese clearly did not buy that explanation. While saying that Pol Pot was welcome to visit Hanoi, they dispatched their troops to mount a combined air and naval assault on the Cambodian island of Pulo Wai. The atmosphere improved marginally when Pulo Wai was returned. On 10 August, Nguyen Van Lin met Nguyen Chea, one of Cambodia's top party leaders, to inform him that Vietnamese troops had been withdrawn from the island. End of quote. Let me also uh, read to you a short excerpt from uh, Ben Kiernan's book, The Pol Pot Regime, uh, ben Kiernan also uh, wrote about uh, these events. This is E3 1503, E3 15 93, Khmer 00653813, French 00638840, and English 0115. 0049, page 104 of his book. Uh, Kiernan writes, quote, as early as 19 April 1975, Mut's forces, referring here to the person who became the Division 164, uh, the Navy commander, Mut's forces shelled the large Vietnamese island of Pukok. Mut quickly landed six boatloads of his third Southwest Zone Division troops on a Saigon-held island in the Gulf of Siam, and then a smaller force on Pukok. From 10 to 25 May, the Khmer Rouge occupied Vietnam's Tho Chu Island, and according to Hanoi, destroyed villages, killed many people, and abducted 515 inhabitants of the island. Vietnamese communists retaliated, capturing 600 Khmer Rouge, and on 6 June, taking Cambodia's Phi Island. These attacks on Vietnam benefited from CPK Center acquiescence and probable direction. In interviews given in 1981, some former members of the 3rd Division, which became the 164th in July 1975, agreed that the new regime's goals in these attacks had been to capture Vietnamese territory both in the Mekong Delta and on Phu Quoc.
Now, as we've seen in the uh, 31 December 1977 statement from the DK government, la du 31 um, the public 1977, statements that came from Pol Pot and Nunchea uh, blamed Pol Pot et Nunchea. The, uh, Vietnam for attacking Pulau Vai uh, without mentioning Vai. what had happened previously uh, with the Khmer Rouge départ. attacks on uh, Phu Quoc, uh, Koh Tral. Les Khmer Rouge de Tral et de and Phu um, Quoc. Pan, however, addressed this issue Toutefois, uh, when he wrote his book, Cambodia's dans son Recent livre. History. L'histoire récente du Cambodge. Uh, that is document E318. E318. Document E318. Uh, year end references. Khmer 0010038487 through 3848. French 00595443. And English zero zero one zero three seven five eight. This is what Q Sampan said. Quote Here is a brief description of the dispute regarding sovereignty over the islands. I don't know all of the details, but on 10 May 1975, a unit of the Young Khmer Naval Army seized the Pulo Panjong Islands, located in the deep end of what was then the Siam Gulf, Gulf of Siam. This triggered an immediate counterattack by the Vietnamese forces that not only took back the Pulo Panjong Islands, but also led Panjong, to the occupation of Pulo Vai Island. En outre, Pulo Vai. And your honors, um, uh, my last document relating to Mon these initial uh, incidents of conflict that took place uh, at the outset of the regime. Relatif aux incidents um, qui se sont Two years later, au début du régime, um, the incidents were referenced tard, uh, in a telegram cet incident uh, sent by the uh, DK ambassador to Vietnam, Jean, uh, to the CPK leaders in Phnom Penh. Uh, this is document E3 slash 1025, 1025, and um, uh, if it works well, um, at times I would like to sh show a few of these documents on the screen. Um, si le temps nous le permet, so, faire projeter uh, with your document à Mr. President, and Avec votre um, autorisation, Mr. President. my colleague can display on the screen Mon uh, the uh, excerpt from this document, um, which is, again, E3-1025. It's a 29 April 1977 un telegram du 29 avril um, from Chin, the DK ambassador. Et de Chine, and paragraph 1C of this telegram, Chin is describing a letter he had received from Il his Vietnamese counterpart. Il a reçu de son this is what the letter states. Voici ce que dit la lettre. The Vietnam Vietnamese side stated that they Le were sorry for the deteriorating situation. Pour la situation. However, they also reminded us of many old stories fois, accusing us of violating over Phu Quoc Island, Phu Chau, and other parts of the Vietnamese territory along Pukwok, the border, Pukwok, from Hatin ha ha to Tai Ninh, destroying many Vietnamese civilians and materials, especially biens. creating the Pulau Chabas law incident in early June 1975. Uh, your Honours, the island Pulau um, uh, Wai is also referred to as Pulau Wai Chas. 
l'île de Pulova est également appelée Pulova et Chasse. <coughs> Vietnamese resolved the problem le, based on the spirit of comradeship and brotherhood sur la base by withdrawing their troops from the island and handing over all arrested Cambodian et, um, combatants to us. Les Cambodiens arrêtés. Since Nous then, les Cambodiens Cambodia arrêtés. has not yet handed over, Vietnam, handed over all the 515 arrested Vietnamese citoyens civilians citoyens to them and without even providing any information related to this matter. End of quote. So I want to now turn um, Uh, to uh, the next uh, period of significance, uh, which is uh, late 1975, beginning of 1976, uh, particularly in the border regions of Mandulkiri and Ratnakiri. Um, we see here uh, a telegram Uh, that was sent uh, from Ankar, from the party Ankar, leaders in Phnom Penh, uh, to the Northeast Penh, Zone Secretary, Ya, on the 11th of November 1975. 1975. This is document E3-1150. E3-1150. Uh, And uh, if we can uh, try to show some of those excerpts um, while I'm presenting this. Um, in this eleven November 1975 telegram, uh, the center provided instructions to Ya on how to deal with the Vietnamese in the border regions of Ratnakiri. Section 2.2 of the telegram states, quote, can we collect 300 to 400 soldiers from the zones and sectors, from sectors 1, 2, and 3, to get ready to attack the enemy. Our main request is to mobilize forces among the villagers from the neighboring sectors. And then in the next section, section 2.3, we can display that on the screen. Quote, In addition to force mobilization in the neighboring sectors, we request that some forces in Stung Treng or Phan Lung be organized for an ambush against the enemy. These forces may be gradually deployed. Continuing in paragraph 2.4, for example, The first place of attack may be at a point between O Lapong and O Toba. Another place of attack shall be at a point between South Village and O Lapong Village. And continuing a few paragraphs later, quote, This is the instruction from the center. Put them in chaos by using certain weapons such as grenades, mines, B-40 and B-60 rocket launchers. Every assault has to be ensured that the enemy will never stay in calm and cultivate anything nor live in peace. Such assault shall continue for three to four months. End of quote. One of the places that is discussed in this Uh, 11 November 1975 telegram, instructions from the center to the northeast zone, is a village, South Village. And the next documents um, uh, reflect what um, took place with South Village pursuant to the instructions that have been sent from the party leaders in Phnom Penh. Um, First is a, a 26 January 1976 telegram uh, from uh, Boot 
Il the de Sector 104 Secretary uh, to Office 870 distributed to brothers Paul Nguyen, Van, V, Q, and Dun. This is E3893. E3893. Again, a, te a telegram from the 26th of January 1976. 26 and it is reporting on a meeting that had taken place with the Vietnamese delegation. It notes that uh, a ceasefire had been ordered at every front line while border negotiations took place. That's in paragraph two. And then uh, the following uh, is reported in paragraph three. Quote, about the problem of the people in Saup village. village de Saup, they protested that those are Vietnamese people and asked us to return those people back to them. And if we give those people back, we have to be responsible for their damaged property. We decided to wait until we report it to the chief of the zone's military de faire rapport au chef de l'armée de la zone. Jusqu'à ce que le rapport soit présenté au chef de la zone. Il y a également to, une autre référence um, uh, what took place in this village uh, in a, a meeting uh, minutes of a standing committee village, meeting that took place on the 26th of March 1976, a document E3-218. This is a, a standing committee meeting regarding negotiations with Vietnam on the eastern border that was presided, presided over by Nguyen Chea and attended by Q Sampan. And section 1.1a of those minutes, de that's 1.1a, and if we can a, uh, display that on the screen, uh, ERN references ERN Khmer 00000751, a French 00334969. English 00182651. Six five one. Two, six, five, one. And this is discussing Sub Village. Quote. The Vietnamese representative said he regretted the events of 4 January when our side gathered up people on their side and brought them into our territory, took their property, and burned houses. And your honors, later in Mesdames these minutes in section 1.2 C, 1.2 C, records Democratic Kampuchea's agreement to return to Vietnam and the people from this village. And now, there are documents. Um, these documents, the telegram from Ces Butte and the, the um, March 1976 Standing Committee minutes reflect le that there were negotiations going on between DK and Vietnamese delegations to try to resolve the border disagreements uh, between January and March 1976. Um, the next documents document you've heard um, from two witnesses uh, who testified here, uh, Bun Long Choi and Sun Dut, that while these negotiations were ongoing, uh, Democratic soldiers, Democratic Kampuchea soldiers in Mondul Kiri initiated fighting and first attacked Vietnam. And a document that I will present uh, evidencing this uh, is a 7 March 1976 telegram uh, from Northeast Secretary Ya uh, to the uh, leaders in Phnom Penh, including Pol Pot, Nguyen Chea, Son Sen, and Ying Sari, uh, regarding 
uh, his ongoing negotiations with a Vietnamese delegation. Et cela porte Your sur Honors, this is document E3866. E3 Khmer 0002146746 French 00283095 English 00183711 And in this 7 March 1977 telegram from Yaw, um, he provides a optimistic report on the negotiations, noting that there was, I quote, a warm and friendly atmosphere. atmosphere. And then, uh, at the very end of the Ensuite, telegram, la fin, tout à la fin uh, if telegram, we're able to show this on the screen, uh, si if possible, at the very end of Yaw's telegram, he wrote, writes the following, Yaa, quote, Je cite, if Ankar agrees to it, si y consent, we request 89 sides, Je proposerai 89 is a reference à to Sansen, to advise 920 sides to slow down the fighting for a while. We temps. have tried to contact 920 sides for quite a long time, avec but could not make it. Assez End mais of quote. Je pas à avec eux. And there are a number of reports from the preceding weeks um, that reflect the fighting by Division 920 to which Yaw was referring. Par la division 920, First, E3-1020, E3-1020, E3 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 a 22 February 1976 report from Division 920 Secretary Chin to Sansen, Sansen, Chin, Brother 89. It references talks um, that were being Ce held with the Vietnamese from the 15th to 21st of February on the borders dispute, the but then indicates février, that a plan of attack was frontalier. being prepared Ce rapport indique and requests ammunition supplies, including 200 B-40 and B-41 rockets, 500 shells, and 30,000 AK bullets. Munition B41, B40. Next Nombre de document, 200, E3, 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 Il émane du secrétaire de la division de Chine Chine est envoyé à Sansen. Ce rapport décrit comment, au moment où les troupes de la division ont trouvé 60 Vietnamiens qui avaient pénétré à hauteur de 2 km à l'intérieur de notre territoire, sur le front de Put Rak, près d'Orang, les forces de la division 920 les ont tous écrasés au moyen de grenades. Et le dernier a document related to the fighting at this time by Division 920 is E3-923, E3-923. It is a 3 March 1976 report from, again from Division 920 Secretary Chin to Sun Sen. It states that Quote, Ce rapport our brothers attack group 7 again nos frères ont attaqué à nouveau le and it provides 7. full details of the attack including that DK forces had pursued the Vietnamese one kilometer into Vietnam que les territory. Du Cambodge démocratique ont poursuivi les forces vietnamiennes à hauteur de 1 km à l'intérieur du territoire vietnamien. I've mentioned uh, the minutes of the at 26 March 1976, the Standing Committee meeting uh, that was chaired by Nguyen Chea. Uh, and um, in another part of those minutes, uh, this is E3 slash 218, E3 218, the Khmer 
Zero 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 seven five seven seven hundred fifty seven French zero zero three three four nine seven one seven one three three four nine seven one soixante onze English zero 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 one eight two six five seven cinquante sept Nunchea that describes fighting with Vietnamese at other locations avec les and ailleurs, it talks about endroits. some instructions and this is what et appears in Nunchea's remarks. Qui a a section A de Nunchea, section regarding a. in the east, à propos de Nunchea states, Nunchea quote, dit, the party instructed cite, the use of mines. At Kabal Cham, their Akbal tractor Cham, drove into tracteur, our territory and hit a mine, sur notre killing the driver, et tombé sur une mine, ce and they came to drag it back. Et ils sont venus le and pour then le in section C, section C, below that, Nunchea reports the following relating Nunchea to incidents on the sea. Parle des quote, qui ont eu lieu en mer, et voici ce they have dit. their small boats and vessels aggress into our territorial waters frequently. We have fired on and sunk some small boats. Sur and, of course, nous les avons coulés. Fin de citation. Now, uh, both the DK Democratic Campuchia in Vietnam and the statements I read at the start Vietnam, dans tout ce que referred je viens de to lire, font a meeting that took place in May 1976, en mai 1976. Uh, meetings that were supposed to be negotiations qui devait consister um, en des the negotiations between the very top leaders entre les très to try to solve these border pour issues. Résoudre le litige frontalier. And let me present a few documents relating to what took place uh, at that time. Vous présenter un certain nombre de documents qui présentent la situation et ce qu'il s'est passé à l'époque. Um, first, uh, in the Pour minutes of a 14 May 1976 standing committee meeting, E3-221, E3-221, uh, we begin with a report from Ya C'est un rapport uh, on de a meeting Yaa with the Vietnamese delegation. Qui a uh, and it reads, quote, la délégation vietnamienne à l'occasion du 5e réunion the events at the border Ils as se sont intéressés. Ils ont considéré que les événements à la frontière étaient graves. Le 5 mai 1976, ils ont dit que notre armée de Mandulkiri avait attaqué gravement, les avait attaqués they gravement à deux reprises. Since March, ils ont dit que depuis we mars, nous avions causé huit accrochages. A number of them had been killed or wounded. De they proposed that there be no further clashes so that the negotiations not become clouded. And I want to read what Ben Kiernan wrote about his meetings in the Pol Pot regime, uh, E3, 1593, E3, 1593, Khmer, 00637, 7, 5, 5 2, 1. 2, 1. English, 0, 1, 1, 5, 0, 1, 1, 5, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 2. 5, 2. French, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 6, 3, 6, 3, 8, 8, 8 88, 5. 45. And he's discussing here the meetings between the countries held in May Il 1976. Parle at the meetings, réunion qui a eu lieu en mai 1976, the Vietnamese delegates charged initiating clashes eight times since March, including two incursions from Mandal Kiri, two incursions from the Mandal Kiri, and this is, uh, comes from the mai. A very standing committee minutes I just read. Uh, un Continuing, quote, de, du Vietnamese were killed and wounded. Democratic Campuchia denied these allegations, but as we have seen, it had few complaints about Vietnamese behavior since at least March. Mais comme nous Il y a, il avait, a few il paragraphs avait later, Kiernan continues. In Kiribong district in the southwest, region 23, which was run by Tamak's brother-in-law, Tite, and tended to reflect center policy, 
DK troops attacked 10 kilometers into Vietnam during April 1976, and several local officials announced their intention to liberate Kampuchea Krom. And then, um, a few pages uh, later, un petit peu plus loin, uh, in his book, après, toujours dans son livre, uh, Kiernan continues ben Kiernan poursuit, uh, his discussion of the meetings uh, between Democratic Kampuchea and Vietnam uh, in May 1976. He states, quote, Voici ce qu'il dit à ce propos. the record of the CPK Standing Committee's discussion of the issue during the afternoon and evening of 14 May 1976 not only reveals that the Vietnamese reports of the negotiations are substantially accurate, but also shows how the Cambodian side decided to break off the talks after five meetings, thus cancelling the, the June summit with Vietnam. Kiernan continues a few pages later. Uh, let me give you the ERNs. Khmer 00637. 541 through 43, 43 en français, French 00 63 8 through 862 through 862 Kiernan writes, quote, never took place, le sommet du mois de juin nor did any eu further lieu. negotiations between Democratic Kampuchea and Vietnam. Et le Vietnam pas non plus eu lieu. If Pol Pot ever had any si Pol Pot intention of reopening talks, he abandoned it. Il y a but he maintained Mais the facade of friendship for the rest of the la year. Tout le tout le reste de a few paragraphs Quelques later, paragraphs Kiernan moins, continues. Kiernan continue disant, this was a period of peace along the border. Le la Hanoi says Hanoi that following the May meetings, border incidents de mai, decreased in number. Le nombre End of quote. À la frontière a diminué. And just a couple of references um, for the record, on your honors, on the side. Um, fin du transcript. You'll find this discussion uh, of whether to uh, to resume these meetings and deciding uh, not to discussion um, consistant à uh, in the de standing committee 14 May 1976 a 703 through 705, 705 108 through um, -là, Democratic Kampuchea had a few complaints about, uh, did not have many complaints about Vietnam's behavior since March 76. Uh, the source for that is the June 1976 revolutionary flag. That's document, that's in evidence, is E3-760, E3-760. Khmer 00062849, English 00509614, French 00048775959. And this issue of revolutionary flag is a speech of a party organization representative 
uh, at a uh, June 1976 zone conference uh, and discussing in the section discussing the enemy situation says the following, quote, in the countrywide framework, le cadre de the du pays, enemy situation la during situation November to December 1975 through January, February 1976, there were some enemy elements along the border and along the coast. Et le long de la côte. But since March, Mais le the situation mars, has been relaxed to the maximum. Au maximum. End of quote. We can see this uh, in some of the reports from that time period. Cela apparaît également dans d'autres rapports de la même période. To, uh, Je vous renvoie ici au document E3-89, E3-92-89, c'est un rapport um, titled Summary of Situations intitulé « Résumé des situations à partir du 15 juillet au 31 août 1976. Um, » Beginning Khmer 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 2105 English 00233 En anglais 002 33 French 984 Let me repeat the French 0124 And as an example um, the section on the report on the Northeast Zone Et à titre states the situations in the eastern border. Snool on 5 July 1976, the situation is fine. La situation for Sector 107 of the Northeast, Sector 107 the Ratnakiri Authority met with the Relation Affairs Committee on 7 to 8 August 1976 in a pleasant atmosphere. Dans une atmosphère agréable. There was accusations back and forth about Route 19 of Okama, that it was agreed to remain the status quo, and notes that they withdrew from our land since March 1976. Similarly, for Sector 105 of the Northeast, the report states, quote, calm, there is no clash. And um, let me finish this period um, by referring to you uh, to a document that uh, pour conclure, je vous the Nunche un Defense had quoted qui a déjà été cité uh, last par la week. It's de document E3-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799-799
un petit peu plus loin. This is what Son Sen has to say Voici ce about que Son Sen a à dire au sujet du Vietnam lors de cette réunion privée avec le secrétaire de la division. Quote, Vietnam itself Je cite, is having internal difficulties. le Vietnam lui-même connaît des difficultés internes. Have no work. Les gens n'ont pas de travail. Abound. Les prostituées abondent. No money. Il n'y a pas d'argent. Ils vont themselves. à la quête de l'argent. Et ils le connaissent des conflits entre eux, internes. Ainsi, le Vietnam n'a qu'une carapace socialiste. Notre révolution est une révolution socialiste. The next uh, time period that takes us uh, through the end of 19 up to the end of 1976. La prochaine période nous conduit jusqu'à la fin de la fin 1976. Une période de calme well, relative. Uh, that there is a uh, une période de calme relative. Document E3 bar 804. Minutes of a 15 December 1976, uh, pour dire qu'à l'époque, il n'y avait pas de problème avec les ennemis de l'extérieur. So then, um, we begin a period puis nous rentrons dans une période d'intensification uh, des combats. A meeting, uh, held on the dans 16th une réunion du 16 décembre 1976 uh, entre Son Sen et la division 920, uh, c'est la division basée à Mandolkiri. Uh, Son Sen a donné des instructions sur la frontière Mandolkiri. Au sujet de la frontière uh, à Mandolkiri, c'est la section 2.1 du compte rendu E3 bar 805. Um, les, les ERN sont en Khmer, 0005233. En français, 0015-0018. En anglais, 0092-3-161. Uh, Voici ce qu'il est dit par Sansen Quote. sur les mesures et les instructions. In Pitch Chenda, je cite, à Pichchenda, l'un des districts du secteur 805, s'ils arrivent, s'ils pénètrent, nous devons les attaquer attack immédiatement. La méthode d'attaque est la suivante. Nous devons bit bit les attaquer et les détruire so petit à petit pour qu'ils ne puissent We pas se reposer. Nous devons détruire endroit vulnérable we must do lorsque nous en avons l'occasion et nous devons tout faire pour protéger nos forces. At Oriang and Pichenda, à Oriang we must et also Pichenda, use the bamboo nous spikes. devons également utiliser des pieux en bambou. Fin de citation. Ben Kiernan uh, parle uh, de the change in the situation parle beginning in December de la situation 1936 Voici ce que dit Ben Kiernan. Quote, The end of 1976 had seen relative peace on Cambodia's border. Cambodienne. But in December, Mais en décembre, Pol Pot ordered Pol Pot the CPK to make long-term preparations for a guerrilla war en vue d'une guerre de guérilla et d'une guerre faisant appel à des forces conventionnelles. Le 
saw the most serious violence launched from democratic Kampuchea's southwest zone. Summarizing many press reports, Kissing's contemporary archives concluded the situation gravely deteriorated from March 1977 onwards. According to an official Vietnamese document published on 6 January 1978, the Cambodian forces made raids into the Vietnamese provinces of Kien Giang and An Giang on Chen, uh, March 15 to 18 Chen, and 25 to 28, 1977, along a sector nearly 100 kilometers from Ha Tien to Ha Tien Bien. Strong Cambodian forces launched concerted attacks on Vietnamese army posts and border villages in Anjing between 30 April and 19 May, killing 222 civilians, and shelled Chao Doc, the provincial capital, on 17 May. Chao Doc, la capitale de la province, le 17 mai. Kiernan specifically notes ben here Kiernan relève that at the time ici, these attacks were initiated, quote, the democratic Kampuchea side at this time gave no hint of being threatened, à ne aucun signe end of quote. Se and se here, here, one of the citation. sources he cites for that is the April 1977 revolutionary flag. Let me give you that 1977. reference. It is document E3742, E3742, and Kiernan cites um, a quote from it Kiernan that states, they have lost their mastery in another sense too. They cannot attack us from the outside. Kiernan goes on to continues to discuss um, incidents in May and June 1977 in which the Khmer Rouge shelled villages in Tainan province and in Kinjing province. And contrary to what we heard the other day, he is not relying here on solely on Vietnamese st statements from the Vietnamese government. There's discussions here about his interviews, interviews of refugees from the area. And um, at the same year on pages uh, from what I just read, uh, Kiernan discusses two uh, refugees Kiernan, uh, that he interviewed from these regions, um, one of which told Kiernan the following dans sa région, a dit à Kiernan uh, about an attack uh, on Krey Tamin village. Tamin, au village de Krey Tamin. Quote, I saw this in actual fact dit, with my own eyes since my house was 500 meters from the border. Étant donné que ma the Khmer Rouge came, came into our village and burnt down houses and burnt village, goods maisons, and killed about 20 people who were not able to run away. Qui pas en de and on the next page, uh, Kiernan page suivante, cites uh, articles written by uh, reporter Bernard Edinger, stating, quote, Edinger, during the summer of 1977, hundreds of people were killed when Cambodian troops stormed close to 40 villages set up within Vietnam's new economic areas program. Edinger noted that reliable sources said there was no doubt that the fighting was started by Cambodian central authorities. Les and instances quote. centrales du Cambodge. Fin de citation. Uh, I'm not going to repeat uh, the quotes from Nine Chanda and Stephen Morris de Stephen on these de uh, incidents. This is the, the April. It's been discussed in this court quite a bit, the incident on 30 April on 1975. Uh, I do just want to give you a reference from Stephen Morris because, again, there was an assertion that he was relying on just on Chander or on Vietnamese propaganda. Uh, but in fact, if you look at um, 
Stephen Morris's book en fait, E3 slash 7338. Uh, this is English 01001 uh, Footnote 35. Note de page 35. Um, he makes here, he's referring here to his interview of a former Vietnamese colonel, Bui Tin, à de Bui Tin um, ancien uh, who is the source of, of uh, uh, the facts, uh, many of the facts that Morris counts. Uh, for example, in, in this uh, footnote, Maurice. it states, quote, dit, according page, to Colonel Bui Tin, Bui the now Tien, exiled former editor of the Vietnamese Communist Army newspaper, 800 civilians were killed in the attack on the villages in Chaodok. End of quote. Doi Nan Dan, 800 civils ont été tués lors de l'attaque contre les villages. I want to read to you a, a, um, a report uh, that was published by the Bangkok Post on the 1st of September. 1977. Uh, this is document E3 slash E3 E3 There is no presently no translation. It's an article titled Refugees Site Major SRV Cambodian Clashes and Reprisals. It reads as follows, quote, and they're discussing here the period uh, events that took place in May of 1977. Quote, Vietnamese airstrikes, some as deep as 15 nautical miles into Cambodian territory, have severely punished Khmer Rouge, Rouge units conducting land-grabbing probes into Vietnam. In what appears to, been, to have been a reprisal for the Vietnamese limited incursion, Khmer Rouge units in Kampong Chenang province have executed some 420 ethnic Vietnamese. Continuing on the second page of the article, quote, according to some refugee reports, the Cambodian counterattacks began on the night of May 18, when the Khmer Rouge launched rocket attacks against Vietnamese artillery positions on the outskirts of Ha Tien. At the same time, at least one Cambodian squad reportedly infiltrated the Vietnamese township and knifed to death 13 unarmed civilians. And your honors, um, on the 15th of June, 1977, uh, this is document E3878, E3878, Mr. Prosecutor, perhaps Just after answer. the break. Okay. Yes. vous voulez poursuivre après la pause, Monsieur le Procureur? It is now convenient time for a short break. We will take a break now and resume at 10:30 to continue our proceedings. The court is now in recess. L'audience est suspendue.